Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Today, we're gonna discuss the C8 Corvette information that we just got yesterday in a little bit more detail. All right, guys, so yesterday we got some fantastic news about this car. We're gonna see it very soon. In about three months, we're gonna get an official reveal showing everything there is to see with this car. Now, with that said, the upload I put out yesterday was short, sweet, to the point, but it left out a lot of the details that we were able to see in the video of Tad's driving the C8 car around New York. A lot of the information I wanted to go into a little bit deeper, but I wanted to get that information out to you guys as fast as possible because I was super excited to share it with you. So now let's go over some of the details that I missed in my previous video, just so that we're all caught up on it. Number one, like I said, it was Tadge driving that car around New York, which is great because he's basically the guy for Corvettes. So seeing him drive that thing around really just hit the point home that this is a Corvette and it is coming soon. I can still remember just like yesterday, whenever he was sitting in a C7 Corvette talking about all the new features and specs of the car with another YouTuber. And I remember just being in awe at how awesome this car looked and how fantastic the interior was and the fact that they only shared very few parts with the previous generation Corvette. So I was pumped to know we were getting a brand new Corvette and now it's happening all over again and I couldn't be more excited. Now, one of the first things you're gonna notice with this Corvette that Taj is driving around New York City is the fact that it still has the camo wrap on it. So we're not really seeing a whole lot new here, but the headlights are definitely a little more exposed than usual. So it gives us a better glimpse at what they're gonna look like. Of course, the headlights look great. They look very similar actually to the ones from the C7 Corvette, which is not a bad thing. The only differences I'm noticing are there's actually two different stripes of LED daytime running lights in there that make it look even cooler. Obviously we got some HIDs in that headlight, could even be LEDs to be honest with you, but they look awesome and that's great to see. A lot of the early renderings had them looking kind of funny and I'm glad to see that they're gonna look more modern and have a very similar resemblance to the C7 Corvette headlights, which is great paying a little bit of heritage to the brand, which is always a good thing. A lot of people are really concerned with the car not having that quote unquote Corvette look and the headlights are definitely a step in the right direction if you ask me. Now, another thing I'm gonna point out in this picture here is again, the front grills look very similar to those in the ZR1, which basically were as open as they possibly could be to allow as much airflow as possible to keep that car cool. I'm sure GM has learned from their mistakes in the past with the automatic Z06 having overheating issues. They wanted to cram as much cooling as possible into this car, especially since this car is gonna have a dual clutch transmission, which is likely to generate more heat. So keeping things cool is definitely the name of the game with this car, especially if you're gonna brand it a track car. Well, as I'm sure all of you know by now, the car is gonna make an appearance July 18th, 2019, which is right around the same time we had some rumors talking about with the car making its appearance. So ultimately the rumor stated we were gonna see the car in summer of 2019 and production was gonna start in December of 2019. Now, of course, that's starting to look a little more realistic. We did already get a date for the reveal. Odds are good, production will start shortly after and then you're gonna start being able to buy the car. Now the, the date that they have written on the side of the car is 071819, the eight is in red, obviously indicating that the eighth generation of the Corvette here. So it kind of puts to rest any rumors out there that this was gonna be a Cadillac or it's gonna be a Fiero. No, this, this is a C8 mid-engine Corvette and we're gonna get to see it here very soon. Now what's interesting is the July 18th, 2019 reveal date. A lot of people are starting to speculate that that date in its numerical form, 71819, is actually the time that this car took to get around the Nürburgring. Now, while seven minutes and 18 seconds is not necessarily the best time around the Nürburgring, that is about 15 seconds faster around the Nürburgring than the C7 Stingray. While that might not seem like much to you, that is a huge amount of time shaved off of a track lap. And if this car is gonna be considered the base C8, and it is beating the base C7 by that much time around the track, then we have a real monster on our hands. What that tells me is that whenever the Z06 or ZR1 equivalent of this car comes out, 
it is going to be a beast on the track. It's going to blow away the competition and it is going to destroy the times that the C7 set on the Nürburgring. At this point, that particular little tidbit is only a rumor. So again, take that with a grain of salt. We'll see what ends up happening on the 18th of July. But if that's true, like I said, it's pretty impressive. Now with this picture here, again, we get to see a little glimpse of the headlight. Uh, we get a closer look at the wheels on the car. But the thing that really sticks out to me here is that the actual wrap on the car, I can tell all the way around it, is very tight to the actual body. The only part that looks like it's sticking out and out of place is that little triangular piece on the door there. It literally looks like it's just stuck on there. Now again, there's a lot of talk about the Corvette team and how they are specifically sticking things on the side of the car to give it a different shape than what it's really gonna have at the reveal. So that part, being as close as we are to the car in this photo, really looks like it's been stuck on and added on after the fact to kind of keep us off the trail of what this car is really gonna look like. There's been a lot of renderings of this car, and of course, no one knows if it's gonna be accurate or not, but given how accurate the C7 renderings were back in the day, I'm sure GM is going to the furthest lengths they possibly can to prevent people from knowing what this car is gonna look like before this reveal. It's interesting that they have the actual center cap also camoed. I'm assuming that's to prevent you from seeing the C8 logo, but obviously we've already seen that around the internet, so it's not a huge, for us to not see that at this point. Another thing I'm noticing with the car that Taj was driving around is that we're still seeing that weird spoiler in the back. Again, it's not a spoiler that really does a lot for me, but the more I see it on these cars, the more I'm wondering if it really isn't going to make it to production. I really hope that a lot of these things that we're seeing on the car that I'm not really a huge fan of are actually just things that GM stuck on there to try to throw us off the trail. One last thing in this photo is the side view mirrors. They actually look very large in comparison to the size of the car, especially if you look at the C7 Corvette side view mirrors, they were much sleeker. Now, what that tells me is there was a lot of rumors in the beginning that this car was going to be made to be sold overseas as well with a right hand drive option and everything. And those side view mirrors being bigger tells me that's exactly what's happening here. Now, what I mean is the C7 Corvette in America had a very slim profile side view mirror, but any of the cars that were sold overseas had a much larger side view mirror to meet European regulations. I think this car right off the bat is gonna meet all those regulations and it's gonna have everything that it should to be able to be legally sold overseas without adding parts on. Honestly, this top view down picture I'm seeing right here, the car looks great. I'm, I'm so glad to see this thing finally coming together because it is definitely shaping up to be something nice. I still think the rear end looks a little too stretched out, but again, I'm trying to wait specifically to see what GM is gonna give us because so much of this stuff could be them trying to trick us into thinking that the car is gonna look a certain way. But once that reveal hits, I think we're all gonna be very surprised at how this car looks. With this picture here, it's pretty clear that Taj either doesn't know about the front end lift, doesn't care about the front end lift, or maybe the base model that he's driving doesn't have that option. Either way, he's coming very close to scraping that lip. And honestly, if that were me driving, I wouldn't be able to do that. He doesn't seem to care that much because it is a production car. It's probably just going to be trashed after they're done with it anyway. But still, that is just an image that makes me cringe. Now, as I stated in my previous video from Car and Driver, they indicated that the C8 Corvette's going to launch in the base Stingray trim, which we already kind of saw in some previous leaks. But it's going to have that same 6.2 liter V8 with around 500 horsepower, a slightly retooled LT1 which will be renamed an LT2 with no manual transmission option, at least not yet. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know down below, what do you think of this C8 Corvette? We got to see a little bit more of it in some of the videos and the pictures of Taj in it and everything. Let me know what you think. Do you think that there's anything on this car that's still being purposely changed to make us think that the car looks different than it's going to? Let me know your thoughts down below. Lastly, I'm going to leave you with an exhaust clip from the C8 mid-engine Corvette. And honestly, it doesn't sound a whole lot different than the C7 with the LT1 in it, but it's still interesting to finally get to hear this car, as well as all the great news we got earlier. So I'm going to leave you with that video. But before I do, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next upload.